line out and walk in the auditorium and make mom, dad, whoever loves you, uh, if it's here tonight, cry the first time. They see you. So congratulations. That's the mid-1620s uh, definition of baccalaureate the way you are now. Uh, I look at baccalaureate as uh, uh, senior school as, as we frame it, truly in that sense of traditional sense of saluting and walking into the play, asking you to reflect, uh, having a more personal, yes it is a kickoff, yes it is formal, but having a more personal address and we felt for years now that uh, a way to frame that was to have a, a senior salute event. So my, my uh, charge every year is to think on uh, the class that since before we were so good and uh, think about three things that I'd like to facilitate you for. And I don't have a lot to say, especially the first one, because you'll probably hear from others who've heard me say this before. But I uh, salute you for the resilience that you show. And there are certain words and names for periods of time I'm not going to say anymore, so we're not going to say out loud anymore. Uh, I'm going to salute you for the resilience in Turkey to get in unimaginable times. Uh, and even though the smiles were often visible behind the masks, I know there were times when we were smiling even when things were uh, incredibly difficult and different. Uh, I'm going to salute you for proving me right when uh, I do you a solid, okay, as kids, I do you a solid. You prove me right. Whenever I hear uh, anybody older than you, generation ahead of you, or holding you, claim, claim this right to criticize the younger generation of kids these days, and they're so this, and they're so not that, and uh, I want to prove you right for doing yourself standing up and saying, you know, those aren't the kids that I see. Kids are as kind or kinder, they're as invested, or even more invested, and they're more appreciative of adults and the things that they've done around them, maybe than they've ever been. It may be more so than they had a right to be. So I want to salute you and thank you for giving me the confidence in the things that I see every day to say those things when people want to criticize kids these days. The last thing I'll say is uh, I salute you for uh, showing that you understand that, that uh, success uh, only comes before work in the dictionary and that you. Uh, you did your time, you did your work, and that uh, you've contributed to what I say, a hand on the ongoing, really special culture we have at this school, and at this high school and this system in particular, where it's just kind of cool to be smart. It's cool to achieve. And I salute you for that because it's been incredibly difficult for the last couple of years in particular. And that's a, that's a tremendous burden to bear not only in recent times, but in the handoff that comes from being educated in this community and doing so well in the way that we expect you to do. So I salute you for that. Honestly, that's a, a trait that I'll take away as I, as I think about the class in 2022. Just to say, for those reasons and many, many more, but those are the big three that I personally salute the class of 2022. Uh, at this time, it's my pleasure to invite our person to address the class, in my experience, leads with the understanding that this that education is a people business, and has reminded us all about the power of giving the most important thing you can give to somebody, your time, give that to them to show them the way, and to have them follow the footsteps and be a better person than we were before the time that we gave them. It's my pleasure to like to address the class, and have that school to Mr. James Taylor.
tell you is this, that 50% of them will fail to meet their resolution in one month by the end of January. Most of those resolutions will be long forgotten by the summer. But one thing I've learned over the last couple of years, and you are so resilient, and I'm humbled to be here with you tonight, I've learned that one word sticks. So I choose a word every single year. A lot of people choose it at the time of, of New Year, but I choose mine at the beginning of the school year because that's the most important time of the year for me. Uh, my word for the last two years I want to share it with you is gratitude. And I would tell you that for the last two years, and uh, Principal Butler mentioned very well what you all have been going through, and you impress me every day. My word is gratitude, so every single day, past two years, I think of something that I'm grateful for. I, I, in 2020, my work is perseverance. The last two years, gratitude. One of the things I'm gratitude for is the opportunity to mentor a student. I'm mentoring a student. I've done that for the last several years. I can tell you, this is my 40th year in education. One of the best things I've been able to do is spend time with a student every single year. We have 600 mentors this year, and you all have served as mentors, some of you in the class of 2022. I have crazy goals at the beginning of the year. I said, let's have 500 mentors. We've been through a pandemic. Let's have somebody that can talk to 500 of our students. We have 600. We have 3,000 plus students in the Bangor School Department. My goal is, is the end, I signed a three-year contract. At the end of the three years is to have 3,000 mentors. And I look at you directly in the eye because I would tell you that you all, I want you to come back here and mentor a student whenever you're back in Bangor because every single one of you has a talent or a gift. And as I look at you, the class of 2022, we have students that look up to you. We have students that are pre k all the way through grade 12. And I would ask you to think about coming back and giving back to your community and mentoring a student. I would tell you that one of the things that, that um, I do with my word gratitude too is you, you, when you look at me, you probably wouldn't guess it, but I'm a runner. I run a, a half marathon or two every year. I've run a couple marathons, 26 miles. You think that guy probably doesn't look like he could run. But one thing I do is I go for every single day, I'll go for either a gratitude walk, run, or hike. And I think about something I'm grateful for. And 100% of those thoughts are about you. And I'll repeat it one more time for your parents to hear it loud and clear. Every single one of you has a talent or a gift. And I'm humbled to stand here with you tonight. I welcome you to come back as a mentor because I think you all have something to, to give. So I want you to think about that. The last thing I want to say is, you know, parents, um, thank you for being here. You have raised some of the best students I've ever met in a 40 year career. And I would tell you that every day I'm impressed by your son's daughter, family member. I'm so pleased to be here with you tonight. It's a, yes. with a sense of gratitude. When you came in here tonight, um, Principal Butler said it very well. The way you walked in here was, gosh, dignity and respect. You look absolutely fantastic in your gowns. I can't wait to see you on graduation day. This is a special year. These activities haven't really happened for three years. So, so take it in, enjoy the ride, enjoy your families, and congratulations to the one and only class of 2022.
because they've, they've chosen that moment because they know they have it. You know, they, they're waiting to spring it on. They want to tell you who the choice is. Well, when, when I don't even remember who it was, truthfully, but when somebody said, uh, Diane Dock, everybody said, Mark got vaccinated, that's the moment. Because uh, I, I've never personally met Penny, but uh, the 15 minutes or so I got to spend with her and what I knew of her career and what I knew of the places that she's going as a leader and the shades of kids and the shades of the class that I saw in her. Uh, just, it was perfect from day one. No pressure on people doing nothing. But uh, it's the, it was the perfect choice. It is my great pleasure to ask you to help me welcome to the book of the rest of the class. I'm gonna make sure I get this title right. Retired Brigadier, Brigadier General Diane L. Dunn. Good evening, Superintendent Hager, Principal Butler, distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, seniors. It is so exciting to join you on this special night of recognition in honor of the class of 2022. I'm delighted to be here and have this opportunity to offer a few words. I do recognize that the Rangers and the Lightning play at eight. <laughs> so there's a lot to compete with. But for the students who have worked for over 12 years to get to this point, we dedicate this time to celebrate them and all who have supported them along the way. I know time is precious and a valuable commodity. So I pledge to you to do my best to make these few minutes worth your while. No pressure, right? As I thought about these comments, I imagined all of you sitting here in this auditorium that I'm familiar with and have had some opportunities to provide other remarks. As I mentioned to Principal Butler, there's been some very fantastic opportunities here. When my unit left to go to Afghanistan in 2009, my family sat right there. And so it's very meaningful to be back here and to celebrate all of you. You all have, I know some of you in the audience and I know what great leaders and future, bright futures you have. And through the program and the comments that have made, some of you may know a little bit more about me. So I wondered what possibly could I say that would be relevant to a wide variety of people that pays tribute to the graduating seniors. First and foremost, I want to say, I salute you. That's the title of tonight's event, but why salute? If you look it up, which, you know, there was this thing that used to be called a dictionary, or you can Google it, you might find the same information. Salute one definition is a gesture of respect, a polite recognition or acknowledgement, especially one made to or by a person when arriving or departing. So there you have it, why we're here. Respect, recognition, and acknowledgement of the departing class of 2022 and to all of you who have supported them along their journey. This group, more than any other previous class that has departed this institution, has truly learned to adapt and overcome. Education, and more important, learning, provides a gateway to what lies ahead, your future. And investing in your future is critical. The learning required in the face of COVID is even more remarkable and worthy of even greater respect and recognition. I acknowledge that you have accomplished amazing work in the face of adversity. And while the journey has been painful, let's be honest, it has been painful, 
you all have a new and improved roadmap, which has paved a new path for the future. A path that has provided opportunity to see things differently. For those of you who have committed to or are thinking about higher education, you will find that it's an opportunity to discover what the world truly has to offer. Education and learning, as we knew it before the pandemic, will probably, most definitely, never be the same. And as a Mainer, I know change is not well received around here. But faced with no roadmap, you blazed new trails, new roads, and highways. And for once, even the administration and your parents didn't have the answers. You adapted and overcame the immediate challenges of the pandemic and found ways to create learning and the opportunities that go along with it. And that is life. And there is plenty more where that came from. Spoiler alert, just a little shameless plug for my current employer and alma mater. Life, right up the road at the University of Maine, right in your own backyard, has students from over 70 countries and every state, where new knowledge is created through research every single day by undergraduate students, like what you may be in the future. These students, just a few months ago, didn't even know what research actually was. Part of what we are celebrating tonight is your potential in the future. We need you to impact our, your community, your state, your nation, and beyond. I had no roadmap for being the first of all of those things that you can read in my bio. No roadmap, nobody showing me the way. But I had goals and aspirations, and many, many supporters. I knew I was on a path that no one like me before had been on. But it was and is okay. So what? That's always the question I ask myself. So what? Why does this even matter? What do you do when there's no predetermined, pre-identified path? and new challenges without clear answers on how to navigate. I'm sure some of you have faced those challenges over your years here. Over the last several years, you, the class of 2022, and all of your supporters have figured it out. Education, learning, life. No one knew what the path to take, but you navigated it as you went and you met the expectation to graduate and earned this recognition tonight. Now you have opportunities to exceed those expectations and accomplish even more by being impactful. It's up to you. Now what? You're departing. Yes, you must go. You each will have your own way of filling in the blank of what's next. Answering the question about what path to take, you're on different journeys, but you have traveled together. You have adapted and you have overcame some of the greatest challenges of this decade. For that, we respect you. We recognize you and we acknowledge you. We salute you. To the athletes, to the math club members, foreign language students, chess club, band members, student leadership groups, unified sports teams, community volunteers, AP scholars, frequent flyers to Mr. Doyle Reed's office, <laughs> to the art enthusiasts, e-sport players, cyber and debate teams, tech school skilled students, drama team members, honor society, those of you who have committed to serving our state and nation through military service, whoa. 
You've been supported by your coaches, faculty, staff, parents, family, and friends. Reflect on the lessons that they have taught you. They provided you and to the life lessons your activities and events have offered up. Even to those of you that may not have been mentioned, we see you, we respect you, we recognize you, and we acknowledge you. We salute you. You have left a mark in one form or another here at Bangor High School, and as you depart, it's up to you to decide what path you take. You define tomorrow. What trail, road, or highway you decide to take, that's up to you. For the last four years, you've had an opportunity to learn, grow, and to de develop together as a class and independently as unique individuals. Now you set out on your next journey, and truly, it's just the beginning. So if you did not accomplish all of your goals, or any of the things that you set out to, or hope to, do not despair. There is plenty of world left in front of you. You know you can adapt and overcome just to anything at this point. So go big. Go fearlessly. Don't hesitate. Be intentional. Be present. Work hard. Do not give up. Use your voice. You have an opportunity to pave new trails, paths, and highways for others as well as yourself. We are counting on you we respect you, we recognize you, we acknowledge you, we salute you. Well done. May your journey be full of learning and adventure. Thank you for this opportunity to salute you and I wish you the best of everything in your future. Thank you so much for coming to Senior Salute 2022 to the Gaelic Airway. 